Hey, this is Dave from House Barons. Today we're looking at the Vivor Concrete Saw, DC235. This is given to us by them so that we can do a review and unpack it, so we appreciate that. That looks like a water hose. That's probably for the saw blade and a couple of clips, which are probably for the water hose. And a manual, which we should read. That's a saw blade, which is probably diamond tipped. Now we've used these saws in the past that are gas powered, but electric powered provides an awful lot of torque. If you have a Tesla, you know all about that, but it does tie you to uh, an outlet. So there's give and take. First things first, so we're gonna go ahead and put the blade on. This is a left-handed thread. All right, so we'll put the blade on and then that's the arbor and this is the arbor bolt. And so we want to turn it the way you don't think you should turn it, which is, but this keeps it, once the blade's spinning, keeps it from spinning this off and the blade coming off. And that's why it's backwards to what's normal. So we've got the hose, and this is the little micro pump that it comes with. So we'll just go ahead and put one end of the hose. We'll just insert the micro pump into one end of the hose. Now it comes with clamps that are in this bag right here. And it looks like this will spin off if you ever need to clean this. A little filter on the pump. So we'll go ahead and put this back on. Now we're gonna plug this in to the outlet. That's an outdoor outlet. Uh, because we're using water, it should be GFCI protected. Don't use an outlet that's not GFCI. We're gonna, we got a bucket of water here and we'll just go ahead and put the pump into the water. The intake is submerged, so it should prime and start. Same thing, this barb fitting has a barb in the opposite direction. If you can see that edge right there. So when I put this hose on, it's gonna to wanna to stay on, but you can also use a clamp if you're worried or if, you, if it pops off. To open, this is now in an open position where water can come from the bucket of water through here into the saw. If you turn it this way, if you just wanna cut dry, that stops the flow of water. We'll keep it open. Yeah, this looks like a built-in GFCI, which would, is really nice. I'm still only gonna trust the one at the house. And we have water to moisten the blade and cut down on the dust. So it starts gradually. When I press a trigger fully, it starts slowly and then speeds up. Well, always wear safety glasses when you're cutting stuff like this. And again, this is just, uh, just to see how it cuts. We're not trying to make a precision cut at this point. Okay, we're gonna adjust this so I can go straight across it. Starting again. Right. It made short work of the tile. Again, it's not a precision cut because it does. it's made for cutting concrete. I just want to see how it would do on something that was thin. And we'll just see how it does with brick. Let's try cutting the brick without the pump first. That's pretty nice. That went real, went through it like butter, but all that dust is zero fun. So let's go ahead and turn on the pump. Oh, yeah, so that, for whatever reason, it wasn't pumping immediately and I was just messing with it. And it goes from a high pitched whine to a low tone once it starts working. And obviously you can see the water coming out there. Let's cut this with water.
Look at that. I mean, it can really give you a sliver of a brick, which I really like. That's nice. So, yeah, it's all about the blade, and blade is good and sharp. Goes through that like butter. You can see the water made an amazing difference. It, it stopped a big cloud of, of cutting dust. And so that's, a, that's always a plus. So now we'll do this one. We'll keep the water on, and we'll try this concrete block. If you get anything out of this video, go ahead and like it. We really appreciate that. So that, through this block, it went about an eighth of an inch shy right there. So it's a three and a half inch cutting depth. So then just flip it and come back at it. There you go. All right, so obviously had no problem with the tile, no problem with the brick. It really made nice, really thin cutoffs. Uh, so long as the blade's sharp, that was easy. And it didn't seem to hesitate to go through the concrete as well. The saw can do the job if it's three and a half inches or less. And if it's more than three and a half inches, then you're gonna have to flip it over and cut from the other side. I love not being tied to gasoline, a gasoline engine though. So that's to me, I, that's my favorite part of it. If you can do a project where you can drag an electric cord, you're good to go. If you're in a remote location where electricity is not so readily available, you can use a generator, which still power this so long as it's, this is an 1800 watt saw. So you'd need probably a 2000 watt generator or more to, to do the trick. At this price, it is a pretty reasonable spend. If you wanted to buy a full size 14 inch gas powered saw, you'd spend way more for your DIYer who's looking to get a project done, have this around all the time, it's a great value. If you're interested in this saw, check out our Amazon affiliate link in the description below this video. One disadvantage is you're tied to your project with an electric cord. If this was battery powered, that would be a dream. Another con might be the pump. That pump was kind of acting a little funny. So it's one of those things, it's a little micro pump. It's like a pond pump. Those kind of things are a dime a dozen if that were to ever go out. The saw itself is pretty sturdy. So I want to say this is not a pro or a con in that it's heavy, but it's not near as heavy as a full blown 14 inch gas powered concrete saw, but it's a little bit of a lift. You'll get a good arm workout over the day. The pros, I love having something that's com you know, a, a compact saw, gives you water, cuts down on the dust. All that is really good. It had no problem going through any of the material that we put it through, tile, brick, or concrete. That It all cut through it like it was butter, no issue. You wanna make sure that your material is not more than seven inches thick. And if it's more than three and a half inches thick, you gotta flip your material and cut on both sides to get all the way through it. But if you're cutting bricks, it'll cut through those all day, one cut straight through, no problem. And if you had patio pavers, it would also cut through those. The price for this saw, makes it a great value. You don't have to spend a fortune to get a huge gas powered, say 14 inch saw. If you've ever used a gas engine, you know, there's a lot of parts to it. They get finicky. If you leave the gas in it, they'll gum up. With electric, it's just plug in, unplug, and you're, it's that simple. This saves you from going to the rental yard too, if you just have it around. So all those things combined, you'd be the judge. For us, it worked really well. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We've got a ton of videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.